Welcome back everybody. All right, today we're going to be making Dianoga spaghetti squash. Um, you wanna go show them your Dianoga? This is a Dianoga. Oh, oh. there we go. Right there, mm -hmm. that garbage monster. Those garbage monsters the are garbage Dianogas. Monsters. Yes. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kelly Ryan and I am the head nerd mom with Nerd Mom Nutrition. Um, and of course, I've got my two little sous chefs with me today, as per usual. And uh, yeah, we wanted to make a Star Wars inspired recipe, so, and it's for supper, so we figured we would make Dianoga spaghetti squash. Um, now the kiddos have their uh, little figurines with them. <laughs> Can I show them up close? Sure, go quickly. There we That's go. That's mine. Got an X wing. An X wing. And we've got. Oh, oh, you might, you might need me? some help. And we've got Darth Vader uh, and R two D two. So. And we also have Star Wars right there. Yes. So lots of companions today. All right. So this is actually a really easy supper. Um, it does take. It takes probably about forty minutes, forty five minutes, but. Um, it is really easy and the cool thing about it is by making it fun, you're gonna get a whole whack of nutrients and colors um, in your dish so that you can feed your family. So, yay. Can I say something? Sure. And your kids will love them. And your kids will love them. <laughs> and also, you're allowed to, you're allowed to make, you're, you're, um, they're allowed to try stuff. That's right. All right, so um, I, in order to save a bit of time, I've already preheated the oven to 400 for our spaghetti squash. Um, I don't know if you've used spaghetti squash before, but it's pretty cool because it literally peels off and ends up looking like spaghetti. So what we're gonna do, bud, your job is to brush the olive oil on, all right? Let's put Darth Vader up there. There's your olive oil. Let's not get his cape in your olive oil. And here's your brush. Do you want to put the salt and pepper on behind him as he's doing that? Mm -hmm. Which one should I do first? Uh, how about you do this one? So what you want to do is, you know how to do it. You want to just, here you go. You want to just brush it outside and in there. Sorry, it's not actually olive oil, it's avocado oil. I use olive oil for dressings, uh, but I tend to use avocado oil when it comes to cooking at higher temperatures, just because it stands up a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Do I have to put this in here too? Yeah, yeah, so I mean you literally just want a quick brush. It doesn't need to be perfect, can we, right? Uh, can you open this? Oh, got it. Okay. Good. Boy, that was hard. All right, so, um, so yeah, all we're going to do right now is we are just brushing avocado oil onto the spaghetti squash. And then my little girl here is going to come around behind and put some salt and pepper on. And then we're going to just put it in the oven. We're gonna flip them over, put it in the oven, let it roast for probably about 30 to 40 minutes. I'm gonna check it at about 30 minutes. Um, and you'll know they're done when you can easily poke a fork in it. All right, how about I do one last little brush to that one and you can start on the next one. And while your sister does the salt and pepper. How's that sound? Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Hang on. No, I'm going to get you over here with the salt and pepper. There you go. You take this. There you go. There's some There you go. And don't do a lot of pepper in. Come on. There you go. I don't, do want to, don't need to be ginger with it or anything like that. They're not going to, they're not going to bark. Bark or bite. There you go. What's bark or bite mean? Uh, it just means you, you know, just brush it on. It doesn't need to be perfect. There you go. Next. Next. Okay. Oh, good one. Okay, you did Whoa, good on this one. that's good. All right. Next. You're I good. Like that. Done with that one? Yep. Okay. There you go. Now, we're going to flip him over. Awesome. So 
I really like spaghetti squash um, because it has a huge amount of nutrients in it. So like I said, I'm going to tell you in a little bit some of the different nutrients that I'm going to use. But this is actually going to be a vegetarian dish. Um, for the most part, yeah. It's pretty much going to be a vegetarian dish. I mean, you can add cheese, if you, uh, parmesan cheese if you want. Um, but not a necessity. Okay. Next. One last, might need a bit more avocado oil, hey? Yeah. I'll get the avocado oil. Thank you. There we go. There you go. Okay. I'll start getting it. There we go. Lay that there for now. See if we'll need it or not. Hey, you might not. Okay. Um, uh, other things that. Yeah, flip it around. Awesome. Um, the other things that we're going to put in this recipe are, I've already got a can of lentils that have been rinsed and drained. Um, we're going to put in 12 ounces of cherry tomatoes, which I will cut in half. Um, about two to three cups of baby spinach. Now you can really use anything green. It could be spinach, it could be um, kale, arugula, um, it could be, you know, even like the baby spring mix, whatever you like. Um, one great thing with oh a little oh no I think you're actually pretty good. One great thing with this recipe is where you're cooking it. Um, it's oh sorry, it's especially good if uh, you know you have some that's already starting to wilt a little bit, then that can go over into the uh, sink. Um, if you have some spinach or kale or whatever that looks like it's a bit of it's going to wilt a bit You can use that because the reality is is you're going to be wilting it in the recipe anyways uh, Oh, Salt and pepper mademoiselle Thank you. And Now I'm gonna put these in the that? Yeah, I'll take that in a minute. I'm gonna put these in the oven for um, Like I said about 30 to 40 minutes, but I'll check them after 30 to see if they're done. No, nope, I washed the whole thing. Because the bottom could be dirty too, just where we used it and touched it and whatever. Alright. So let her finish with that. Now, while she's doing that, uh, I'm going to get my pot. Mommy, mm -hmm. can I give a warning about salt? Sure. And pepper? Mm -hmm. Sure. If you have too much pepper, or um, you have a big chunk of pepper, then it may be a bit spicy and salt. It will um, make you a bit thirsty. So just wanted to warn you guys about it. All right. So we'll, do we need salt and pepper anymore? Uh, we may need it. Yes, for the. Uh, okay, then that means I'm not going to put on the top of the. Salt, yeah, because it's really hard to take off. Okay, so put this one in. Alrighty, so we just put the um, spaghetti squash into the oven. So, like I said, that's going to go for about 30 to 40 minutes. So, now we're going to start on our sauce. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by putting some avocado oil in here, um, and all you want is just enough to coat the bottom. There you go, put that back. Um, okay, so first thing I'm going to do, like I said, I put my avocado in, my avocado oil in, sorry. And uh, here I have about, well, the recipe says one to two teaspoons of crushed garlic. You can use about a clove. Um, I really love garlic, so I probably have closer to a tablespoon, <laughs> but that's okay. You know, it all depends on how much you, you like. So we're gonna put in our garlic. go and I'm gonna put this over on the stove um, I like cooking the garlic a little bit first just so that it takes away some of that raw taste that garlic can have so I'm gonna put it on about medium mm-hmm 
it's not Q-tips, oh. it's uh, toothpicks. Why do you need toothpicks? They're going to help with the uh, Dianoga, but we don't need them yet. All right, so I just put the garlic on to just start cooking a little bit. Um, now I have here 12 ounces of, um, of baby tomatoes, which I am going to cut these in half. Um, and uh, you know, just so that while I'm cooking them, I'll, they'll help to re uh, release like the juices and stuff like that. So it'll make it a bit more saucy. Mm -hmm. Can I have a bit of a tomato? Me too? Sure. There you go. Did I cut all those? No? Okay. So yeah, as you can see, I am literally just taking them and I'm just cutting them in half. Um, some people have difficulties with the tomato seeds. If you do, um, you know, you, you can even use like bigger tomatoes and scoop out the seeds. Um, and then just add water for the liquid. Um, now, while I'm cutting, I'm going to tell you uh, some of the nutrients that are in this. This is actually a very nutrient dense recipe, which is super cool because, um, you know, all in one recipe, you're getting a bunch of nutrients, which are super good for you and your family. So um, obviously because of all the vegetables and the lentils, I'm using the lentils basically as a replacement for a protein source uh, instead of meat. So because we've got all the vegetables and the lentils, there's going to be a good bit of dietary fiber in this. Um, people I know a lot of times worry about getting enough fiber, so this is really a great place to, to get it. Um, but also, it has a whole whack of vitamins. It has vitamin A, vitamin C, a bunch of the B vitamins, um, and vitamin E, uh, which is one of the protective vitamins, one of the antioxidant vitamins. Um, a lot of people, especially women, have trouble getting iron. Well, this recipe has iron in it, uh, but it also has potassium, calcium, so uh, if you're someone like me who struggles with getting calcium because um, I don't eat very much dairy, uh, this is a source of calcium. There's also magnesium, um, bioflavonoids, which are great, niacin, plant protein. So if you want, if you're looking to get plant, if you're looking to get protein, but you don't want to eat meat for every meal, this is a recipe where you can have some plant protein. Um, folic acid for any uh, wanting to be or soon to be or slightly post mommies. Mm -hmm. um, but also there's zinc, a bunch of phytonutrients, selenium and magnesium, uh, manganese and more. So this really is a great recipe to get a bunch of nutrients and as you can see we're using a bunch of colors so we've got reds oranges green um yellow white you know uh -huh. so a brown so it is a very good variety of colors oh yeah and this big a squash is yellow yellow yeah so yeah um i hear that bubbling yeah so that's i'm just starting the uh Ooh. Mm. I love the smell of cooking garlic. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. And I'm going to put my tomatoes back in here. I'm going to quickly cut up my onion because I'd like to get my onion in next. There we go. Now I'm just going to basically dice up the onion fairly small. Um, my kids are good with it. A lot of kids don't love onions so um, if you dice it up fairly small, they may not notice it as much. Mommy, can yeah. I have some of the onion? You want a piece of onion? Mm -hmm. For sure. There you go. I got two pieces. Ooh, lucky. I got two too. Ooh, you're also lucky. 
All no, right. three. You got three? Holy begumba. Three pieces. All right. And we'll get the onion in. actually why I'm not putting the tomato in yet you want to soften your uh, onions a little bit before you add your vegetables because it's just it, it gets a little bit sweeter and a bit nicer so now the recipe only calls for one bell pepper um, I had a half of one that I wanted to use up so um, that's fine I'll just add a little bit of extra bell pepper right right guys you can use whatever color bell pepper you want. We really like the, don't reach in while I'm cutting. Can I have one? You sure can. There you go. Bop, 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 bop. There you go. I like bop, 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 bop. Um, Yeah, we usually buy like the variety pack because then again, you're getting some different colors, right? Which is awesome. Can we show them the pack if they still have it? Uh, not right now. Mm -hmm. Can I have all of them? Uh, not right now, no. Mm -hmm. Do you want to toss it in the garbage? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. And the garbage is good. Do we have blue or purple in this recipe? We don't have blue or purple in this recipe, but we tend to eat um, a lot of blues and purples. A lot of blues and purples with our breakfast, so that's all right. But uh, you'll see me a lot of times when I'm cooking using uh, oranges and greens together. It's actually two vegetables that, or two colors that work really well together. So if you're using greens and oranges, then um, the nutrients in those really seem to work well together. So that's why I try and have a green and an orange every day. All right, give that a little stir. Can I smell the cooking garlic? Uh, stand back, yeah. Oh, you need to. Mm -hmm. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick chop of my green veg here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add everything in and let it just cook while... Um, while the spaghetti squash is roasting. And, oh, the other thing too is, I'm also going to add in some what? fresh herbs. Yummy! Can I get some fresh uh, herbs? I'm going to get them down. Um, no, I want to take some good ones too. Yeah, so we want, so the best way to pick these, see, it's uh, not by see the some of are new, newer. Uh, I would take like maybe this one and you just kind of you pinch it at the very top of See uh, how the next one's about to start. You just kind of pinch it with your nail um, and Like that. You get some fresh basil. I want to get, like that I want to, I want to get some fresh And how do you do it? I just literally pinch it with my nail. And that's all you do? That's all you do. There we go. There we go. I picked oh one. good one. Excellent. There's nothing like the smell of fresh herbs. Amazing. Mm. Smell how good they are? Mm. Smell that. Mm. Smell. Smells good, hey? I smell it. So, I love fresh herbs. Here we've got, I've got some fresh basil. Smell this. And we've got some mm. fresh chives. Mm. And... Oh, next I'm gonna put in the tomatoes. I'll put I'll get I'll put some more Ah I'll take some more chives. Ah that's oh, oh. Cool. Okay, good. Oh we'll see. That's okay. That's a baby one. That's oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm getting some really good ones, buddy. Okay. Stop. 
Put them up nice and small. Lots of potato. Okay, thank you. Oh, that's perfect. Excellent. Okay, that's plenty. That's good. We don't need any more. Nice. Mm. Can me and Michael have a try? Uh, yeah. Yay! Can, names, Can we please? pick ours? Yeah. Can you pick yours? I pick mine. Okay. All right. So now that we've got all that cut up, I'm going to add everything in. Looking at what I've got there, I may have to add a little bit of water just to make it a bit more liquidy. But uh, I'm going to add everything in and we're going to let it cook and I will be back when the spaghetti squash is ready. Hey, okay, welcome back. So, what have we got here, guys? Yep. We've got cheese. Mm-hmm. Our sauce. Yeah. That's going to be hot. Don't touch. Squash. Yeah, the spaghetti, our spaghetti squash. squash. And our olives so that we can make the eye. Mm-hmm. All right, so the spaghetti squash, um, like I said, you can tell it's done when you can pretty much stick a fork through it. Uh, this cooked a little bit longer. Uh, I'd say it was probably actually closer to 45 or 50 minutes. Um, but all I did was literally just, when you can stick a fork through it fairly easily, it's done. So, now this is the cool part, because, like I said, the great thing about spaghetti squash is it comes out, it actually comes out really easily. Mommy, can I have a try? Uh, yeah, let me just get a little piece out, because can it's caught. Can we also have one of these? Sure. Um, just leave that for just a sec. There we go. Now the cheese is optional, um, especially if you find you don't do well with dairy. Uh, I seem to be okay for some reason with um, uh, certain dairies, like goat cheese I'm fine with. Okay, good. Yeah, you can try them. Should be fine now. Maybe give it a, just blow on it to... Cool it off and it should be fine. Yeah, so here we do have some Parmesan cheese. The cheese is optional. Um, you know, if you have difficulty with cheese, you know, don't, or dairy or whatever, don't put it on. That's fine. Um, like I said, I struggle with some cheeses. This one seems to be fine, so <laughs> whatever, I'll use it. Um, okay, so to release your spaghetti squash, you're literally just going to take your fork and scrape it away from the sides super easy. Now, this is where the fun part comes in. Alright, so we're going to take a little bit of our spaghetti so squash. That should be enough for one of the kiddos. And... Can I poke in the eyeball? Uh, in just a second, yeah. We're going to put some of the sauce on top. Can I put on mine? Sure. Here we go. And then... We are going to take a toothpick. And don't say the F word. I'm sorry. All right. You want to do yours? Okay, so you just poke your toothpick into the eyeball. Oh, sounds gross. The eyeball is all it is actually is it's an almond stuffed olive. So it's an olive stuffed oh. with an almond. Need some help? Um, I think I'll be fine. Okay. So we're allowed to eat this part. That's good. Yeah. That's good. We're allowed to put this in. We're allowed to eat this part. We will be, yeah, when we get it all done. And we'll just try and get him standing up. We'll try and get the eyeball standing up. Let's poke him into a tomato. There we go. Put a little bit more stuff on top. Ah. So that the eyeball looks totally gross. So it looks like he's coming out of the garbage heap. He's coming out of the garbage heap. Go. There we go. Ah, there we go. And then, like I said, you can top it with a little bit of cheese on mine and the kid's dad. I'm, dad's, I'm probably going to put some chili peppers as well. The great thing about this is you can kind of make it however you want. And let's get this closer. There we go. We've got the Dianoga 
spaghetti squash. All right, you're this gonna want to go up with that. Uh, don't eat the um, toothpick. <laughs> I don't eat the toothpick. Alrighty, we gonna do yours. Okay, so I just want to say thank you so much for um, following along with us today. I would love it if you'd like and subscribe. So please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And check out some of our other videos. We've done a whole bunch, including um, Golden Snitches. Uh, draft of Peace. Draft of Peace. Unicorn Popsicles. Um, this one. This one. <laughs> this and one. also the Wookiee Cookies. And Wookiee Cookies. The Wookiee Cookies were yummy. And Jabba the Hummus. And Jabba the Hummus. Yeah, so we've made a whole bunch now. So make sure you go check out some of the others. And then don't forget to like and subscribe. We will see you in the next time. Bye.